Prophet Sallallahu said, when the person is close to Akhirah and leaving dunya, Allah sends a delegation. Abd, Mu'min, Mu'mina, Allah sends a delegation of the angels of mercy. So they line up in front of him in his sight, in his foresight, and they turn their faces to him. Their faces, each one is like the full moon, smiling at him. And they bring with them clothes, beautiful, from Jannah, water from Jannah, perfume and hanout that we use to put on the dead person so that to give him a good scent from Jannah. So the person looks at them and they say, you're beautiful, your faces are enlightened. Who are you in God's name? They say, we are the angels, the angels of mercy. Whose clothes that for? Oh, these are your clothes. Who's that water from? It shines like a pearl, like a diamond. Oh, this is your, this is your water. We, why? We, you are about to die, and once you die, we will wash you, put the perfume, and put the clothes on you. So what, can I, can I wear them? You have to die first. Can I please die? <laughs> this is the reaction of the believer. Can I please die? They say, just wait a second, the angel of death will come and will take your soul. Okay, I'll wait. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, the person will feel what you feel from a pinch. And the soul will leave the body. And the shower will start. Imagine, delegation of angel, taking, angels taking care of you. Showering you, putting perfume on your ruh, on this essence of you, in your consciousness, on this ruh that is actually substance, there is substance, but we don't know that substance. What is it made of? And then they will put the clothes in you, and then that group of angels will go up in a delegation, the angels, with your soul, carrying it in the best clothes, best wash, best perfume. And when you reach to the gate of the first sky, they will, the, the angels of the sky, the first sky has gates. I don't know if that's what they call today black holes, but it has gates. And on these gates there are angels. And the angels start uh, 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 asking, who is this person? And the Prophet ﷺ said, they call him with the most beloved name to him. Why? To feel home. So if your name is Aisha, but your mom used to call you Ishi, they will say, this is Ishi with us. So you feel, oh my God. They call me with my most beloved name to it. My God, I feel home. My mom used to call me that. فَيَدْعُونَهُ بِأَحَبِّ الْأَسْمَاءِ إِلَيْهِ The Prophet Sallallahu They will call him with the most beloved name to him. Yeah, he was calling him. And then they will say to the angels, the angels who are holding the gates of the first sky, they will say to the angels who are carrying your soul, they will say, come from here, enter from this gate. And the other group will say, no, 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 come from our gate. And the other group will say, no, 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 please, come from our gate. Our gate is beautiful. Imagine when you are welcomed, you walk into a city, and someone says, come and stay with my home. They're like, no, 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 come and stay with my home. You feel, my God, so welcome. Am I so welcome that much? That's so humbling. So you enter through one of these gates, only to experience that in the second sky. Who is this? He's Fulan, such a Fulan. Fulana, the daughter of Fulan. And they call you with your most beloved name. Can you come please enter from here? Honor above honor, above honor, above honor, seven skies. And then the soul with the angels of mercy meets its Lord. And Allah welcomes you. Ya iyatuha nafsu mutmainna irjili ila rabbik radiyatan mardiyya Subhanallah فَدُخُلِي فِي عِبَادِي وَدْخُلِي جَنَّةِ So Allah says to the nafs, welcome. You have pleased me, and I am pleased with you, and I will please you. But I have taken an oath upon myself. From earth I have created you. To earth I will return you. And from earth I will resurrect you again. So go back with pleasure. 
welcomed in my kingdom. And you, the angels, take you in a similar journey down back to your grave. And after you have met your Lord and had this pleasant conversation, do you think you're going to have a problem answering the two, the answers, the questions of the two angels? Who's your Lord? You've just met your Lord. Who's your prophet? <laughs> You've just talked about your prophet. What's your millah, al-Islam? It would be very easy. 